It's finally time to turbo the Civic. Previously, I tried to case swap the Civic and it didn't turn out well. I ran out of money. Hopefully with this turbo kit, it will not only save a chunk of money, but also make the same power or even three times more than a case swap would. Can we do it? Or will it blow up? Now a lot of people suggest that I go with a higher end kit like Go Auto Works, but I don't have enough money for that, so we're gonna try to boost the Civic on a budget. Unfortunately, our first obstacle was that this kit didn't come with everything. We still needed injectors, we still need an oil sandwich plate, we still need the downpipe, like there's so many things I can list off that needs to support this whole kit together. So after I found this out, I still want to assemble the kit anyways just to get an idea of what we're missing and what I need to order. So without further ado, let's see how far we could go and try to get one step closer to turbine the city. So because we're boosting the car, the car is no longer going to be NA, which means we're going to have to remove this whole entire header in order to put this manifold on and it's going to go right there and at the end that's where the turbo is going to attach. Now you're probably wondering, have I ever installed a turbo before? <laughs> no! <laughs> it wasn't that hard of a job, got the header out in 30 minutes. Here we are, we got our header out. Hopefully the manifold fits. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't hit the AC line. Oh dude, I am so hyped on this, bruh. Everything assembled for the most part. The only thing I need to do is clock this turbo downwards and a cooler piping is gonna hit the radiator. So gotta make sure to turn this down. This thing is actually heavy. Put this on like so. I struggled for a few minutes trying to put this manifold on and I figured out that the turbo was hitting one of the lines and the condenser so I flipped the turbo the other way just to see what would fit. Part two, so I flipped the turbo the other way. I'm not the strongest person in the world but this thing is heavy bruh. Alright so we finally got it installed. The problem is so we're gonna need someone that welds good so that way the downpipe could angle like a 90 like this. The reason why we want that so it doesn't hit the compressor, but also that way it could connect all the way to the exhaust so that way we have a full exhaust system. I do not want to run a hood exit because that just wouldn't sound nice and I'm trying to keep this OEM plus. As much as I want to put the intercooler on and also as the piping, because we rotated the turbo on the other side, which the piping that it came with the kit, it could only extend here rather than here. Unfortunately, I knew this was going to happen, so I had a plan B in mind and ordered a different style turbo manifold. Here's the second manifold that I bought, and obviously it's tump mounted, so you're going to see the turbo a lot better, probably flow a lot better. And check this out! This baby is together! Thank God! <laughs> Dude, look at that dude, that is so sick. It would probably be a lot easier to make the downpipe. Of course, it still needs to be custom, but we could curve the downpipe down there rather than, you know, the manable before. Literally, it would have a high chance of hitting that AC compressor, which is not good because obviously we want AC in this thing and also pull some power. Still need injectors. We still need the oil sandwich plate so that way we could feed oil to the actual turbo because that's very important. We also need to get an oil pan so that way we have a return line for when all this oil could return back to the pan. This is why I delayed the video for so long because I do not have everything but I wanted to show you guys that I ain't no liar. I'm gonna make sure this thing is made properly. If you guys don't give this video a thumbs up or subscribe that means y'all guys don't want to see the turbo civic content. But I'm not gonna leave you guys high and dry. A month ago it was my birthday and I went to a Tokyo underground meet. It's one of the biggest meets I would say in Arkansas and it definitely was a good time. I appreciate you watching the videos, it means a lot. Everyone is popping out tonight. It's a underground Tokyo meet, so let's go check out the cars. Oh, 
hell that is. Just keeps going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There was definitely some cool cars there for sure, but I think the favorite one out of all of them was definitely the CRX. <laughs> It was crazy how many people were actually at this meet anywhere from out of state to even locally and well this happened in arkansas look at the new whip you know what i'm saying what uh, what this called the bugatti uh bugatti go-kart no, it's my Ferrari. Something, yeah, Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> One of a kind. This year compared to last year, uh, I don't know. I think it was just, I feel like it's shorter this year, but I could be tripping. But now I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Now we gotta get some grub. Look, we walk out and we find this. That's pretty nice. Now this should have been in the next project card. <laughs> I just want to say my big thanks to y'all guys. The amount of support on the videos does mean a lot, whether that's liking, watching, or subscribing. Y'all guys mean the world to me, and without y'all guys, this wouldn't be possible. More Miata videos coming soon, and the Civic, well, we'll see about that.